A lot of um, Christians ask about the Jehovah's Witness and ask about, you know, aren't they Christians? Or, you know, um, why don't we just, you know, kind of, I mean, we can both get along, right? And and, and to, a, to a degree, that's, that's true. We shouldn't be, um, you know, um, sabotaging them. We shouldn't be um, cursing them. We shouldn't be, you know, that, no, no. We shouldn't be doing that at all. But at the same time, there needs to be an understanding that Jehovah's Witness are not Christians. Okay, They claim to be Christians, but it's actually called a Christian cult. And this always confuses people. Whoa, 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 what do you mean cult? Like they have secret books and stuff? That's not what I'm talking about. A Christian cult is something that claims to be a part of Christianity, but d does not share the same doctrine. And so we're going to look very quickly at the problem with Jehovah's Witness. As a, as a cult, and um, I, I know that um, this is not going to get real deep, but it's just going to get on un, un, un really the core of, of the problem. The first is that it is a religion of hate. They are taught that the Christian Church is a, is is Satan's organization. They're taught that they are taught that we hate them, and a lot of people in the Christian Church do hate the Jehovah's Witness. I mean, so there is some basis there, um, and uh, they're taught that. Um, if if people if their own family do, do, it doesn't won't convert you can't talk to them anymore um, or you have to let them know at, at that excuse me at that meeting okay but but we can't hang out anymore um, they they can't they can't have friends with people um, who disagree with their with their um, views um, at least this is the doctrine of the church you, you might know some Jehovah's Witnesses who don't follow that doctrine but this is the actual doc doctrine. Um, they are taught that um, Christianity is Satan's organization. Now, if you think about that, the evident, one of the evidences that the Holy Spirit is moving is what he has done with the church. So in, in saying that, that um, the church is Satan's organization, that's kind of blaspheming the Holy Spirit if you think about it because the Holy Spirit is the one who has – um, equipped and empowered the church. Jesus started it. He's the foundation of the church. But the Holy Spirit, he, he empowers and calls people in the church. So by saying that that's Satan or, uh, Satan's organization, you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And all that they, they're doing is emphasizing hate. These people hate us. They are they are our enemies. We need to hate them too. Whereas the Bible talks about um, forgiving forgiving people and it talks about blessing those who curse you, and that's just not a part of the Jehovah's Witness doctrine. Um, I have yet to see a Jehovah's Witness who genuinely loves people. I know a lot of times you might know some Christians who don't love people too, and there's a lot of people who call themselves Christians that don't live by the Bible, and there's a lot of times that Christians do very dishonorable things like the Crusades, for instance. However, that doesn't mean that that is what the religion itself is about. Um, as many people have noted about uh, Islam, Islam doesn't have to be um, radical extremism. It doesn't have to be. But um, some have made it into radical extremism, like, for instance, ISIS. So, see what I mean? You can't blame everybody because of the few who do something stupid. However, Going back to Christianity here. Um, so the Jehovah's Witness is a religion of hate. They, they learn to hate and fear people, and they think that everybody hates them too. Um, Satan is the contradiction of every biblical doctrine there is. If it is out there, they disagree with it. Um, as far as uh, little things like the rapture to bigger things like salvation to Jesus uh, being fully God to all these different things, they disagree on all of it. Every doctrine that there is that comes from the Bible, the Jehovah's Witnesses have disagreed with. And here's just some of them. A belief in multiple gods. They say that they don't, but at the end of the day, they do. If Jesus is not fully God, then he is a lesser God. If he is a lesser God, then there are multiple gods, which is exactly what the law said there is not, what the prophets said there is not. So, I mean, all throughout history, um, God has been proving that he alone is God. There is no other. And what the Jehovah's Witnesses say is, Oh, well, Christians believe in three gods. No, 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 no. One god, three persons. Okay. And that's what the Bible makes it and makes it out to be. That's what the Bible says. But what the Jehovah's Witnesses do is this doesn't make sense to them. And so they think that they should understand everything that that, that, that God does or says or, or, or anything. Their reason can guide them. So they say things like, so Jesus couldn't be God. Well, if he wasn't God, 
then his death meant nothing for our salvation. Do you understand that? If Jesus was not God, it doesn't matter why he came to earth. It doesn't matter. Jesus is, is nothing. But if Jesus is God, then he is the only hope for salvation. See what I mean? It's an either-or kind of thing. That's what the Bible makes it out to be. Jesus is our kinsman redeemer. He had to be born of, a, a born, um, born of flesh. But if he was not God, then what right did he have to, sa to save us? Just because he was sinless? How could he have been sinless unless he was God? So I mean, like a lot of things that just don't really add up, but they try, they they believe in them to 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 remove the 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 confusion from the Trinity. A lot of people don't understand understand the Trinity. That doesn't mean that you have to make something up. See what I mean? Um, so that leaves us with the problem of multiple gods. Either there is one God or there or there's multiple gods. There, there is there's no either or. There can't be both one God and and multiple gods. See what I mean? It doesn't really make sense. So then they would say something along the lines of, um, well, I don't really want to get into that. Um, but at the end of the day, um, Joe is witness believe in multiple gods. Um, as far as salvation, salvation is not through Jesus alone. In fact, if you read many of their writings, you will find this repeated 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 salvation is through being a part of jehovah's witness organization and you have to you have to do the missionary works of going door to door you have to do those things to, to earn to, to earn salvation whereas christians believe that works are a natural result of, of, of your faith in god abraham went to sacrifice isaac because he believed in god and he was certain that god would spare would spare isaac he says we will come back from off that mountain when God told him to go and sacrifice his son. He had faith in God. And so, because he believed in God, because he put his trust in God, because he walked by faith, he his works followed. But what Jehovah's Witness would say is, you have to do these things in order to be saved. If you're not part of the organization, you're going to hell. If you disagree with the organization, you're going to hell. If you don't wait and go to door-to-door -door irritating people, you're, 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 you're going to hell. See what I mean? How does that make sense with what Jesus said, that he is the only way, the truth, and the life? No organization can save you. I'm a licensed pastor with the Assemblies of God. I do not think the Assemblies of God are the only people going to heaven. And if I lose my, my, my licensing with them, it's not the end of the world. I'm still making it to, I'm still making it to heaven. Assemblies of God does not get me, to, get me to, to heaven the same as Baptist doesn't get me to heaven. Jesus gets me to heaven. Jesus is the great high priest. Um, also, there's the issue of failed prophecy. They have so many failed prophecies, you can't even make a list. I mean, it's just prophecy after prophecy. If you don't believe me, look up online, failed prophecies of the Jehovah's Witness. It's just one after another after another. The books of the law say that if, if a prophet says something and it turns out not to be true, that person's not a prophet. God didn't send them. They're a liar. But what the Jehovah's Witness have said is, okay, we were mistaken. We need to reevaluate this, and so they give out another prophecy, and it's wrong again. Compare their writings from uh, from 50 years ago till today. It's changed drastically. Charles Russell, well, he lied in court. I mean, he's just not a very good person to start a religion. Um, not that – well, anyways. Uh, and so you have failed prophecy after failed prophecy, and then the Jehovah's Witness try and cover it with, okay, give us another chance. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that if someone has a failed prophecy, they are not a prophet sent by God. Yet they have had repeated failed prophecies. They have, they have yet to have a correct prophecy. The only thing that remotely is, 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 uh, has something behind it, Charles Russell said that something was going to happen in 1914, and World War I started in 1914. That's the only thing that they had. Everything else was they were wrong on, and they didn't even know there was going to be a world war. They thought it was going to be the end, and it wasn't. See what I mean? So, um, failed prophecy, that's another, another problem. Untrustworthy Bible translation. The Jehovah's Witness used a Bible translation called the Jehovah's Witness, which has no, no well-known scholarship, and no well-known scholars of Greek, Hebrew, or Aramaic support that translation. They add words in. They take stuff out. They just move stuff around. They take stuff out of context and make it where it doesn't make any sense. Um, in Philippians, there's this part where where, where Paul's talking about about um, where Paul's talking about um, 
uh, the resurrection, and they, they retranslate that. In 1 Corinthians, there's this part where Paul's talking about the resurrection. They, they, they take that out of context. So then you have parts like um, John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was uh, with God, and the Word was God. And they say, well, was a God. No. Uh, in Greek, there's this thing called Caldwell's Rule, and basically what that says is uh, it doesn't need the definite article, the, given the context. Any Greek first-year student knows that, but yet the Jehovah's Witness deny that because they don't know the Greek. See what I mean? And even when they are trained in Greek, it's a modified Greek of not what the actual Greek was in its historical setting. They instead teach this form of Greek that is just – they've taken a dead language and, 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 and changed it to where it supports their translations. Like, seriously? I don't get that. But anyways, um, in Colossians where he's talking about um, Jesus alone, you know, how it says um, Jesus is in the image of God. He created everything. Um, they keep adding the word other. He created every other thing. So Jesus was created by God the Father, but everything else was created by Jesus. That's not what it says in Greek. In Greek, it clearly says that Jesus created everything. And if Jesus created everything, and apart from him, nothing has been created that does exist – then it could not mean that he was created. In Isaiah, it says about before me there was no God formed, after me there's no, there, there, there's not going to be a God. I am the, I alone am God. He talks repeatedly about this, and yet they take that out of context too. The New World Translation is a joke. Is a joke. Like I don't even know why anybody would actually believe it. There is no no scholarship who who condones this except for the Jehovah's Witness own people. They even they even knew it was so untrustworthy that they tried to say that Thayer, um, the 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 Greek scholar Thayer, uh, supported uh, their translation by modifying one of the things that he said. He never supported their translation, and that's the only Greek scholar of renown that they had. And they lied about what he actually said. They took one part of his quote um, rather than rather than reading the whole thing, where he basically said this is not this is not true. Um, anyways. Um, just an untrustworthy Bible translation. Then there's the inability to study. If you are part of the Jehovah's Witness, you cannot ask questions. You cannot question their doctrine. You cannot read stuff. In fact, check this out. If somebody gives you something that makes you uh, question Jehovah's Witness, you could be kicked out of the church. Yeah. It, you cannot study at all about things that contradict the Jehovah's Witness. You have to blindly accept it no matter what the Bible actually says. And then you have to read their version of the Bible, and then you have to read their Bible studies. You can't study the Bible by yourself and get and, and, and actually ask the questions of God yourself. You have to go through the organization. They are the voice of God. When we've already seen that they have failed contradiction, or failed prophecy after failed prophecy. But then there's the last thing, which is kind of the 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 crap icing on the crap cake that I really don't understand. They go to great lengths to talk about Jehovah is the name of God. Well, let's take that apart. First off. There were no J's in Hebrew. Let's kind of stop and think about that for a second. How could God's name be Jehovah if there were no J's in Hebrew? Okay, now let's add another piece to this to this puzzle. We don't even know what the vowels were because in original Hebrew there were no vowels. Vowels were added, added much later, much later, to help the... Um, the scholars to be able to make the copies and to understand it better. So we don't know if it would be Jehovah, Jehevi, Jehave. We don't know what it would be because there were no vowels originally. So where does the word name Jehovah come from? It comes to English through Latin. The Bible wasn't even written in Latin. It was translated into Latin. A translation is where you take the texts and you translate it into another language. We're talking about what the original manuscript said. Jehovah's Witness claimed to, that this comes from a couple different manuscripts that were dated way after the most reliable uh, manuscripts that we have. And in a different language. Why would you do this? It doesn't make any sense. Um, and, and then even with their, with their translation, it's not an accurate translation because they, t they add words in. 
a translation is where you take it and you try to make it the um, the the most precise in your language as it is in that original language. That's a translation. Um, their Bible, the New World Translation, is more of an interpretation, I guess. They kind of vaguely take the idea of Scripture and just kind of make it mean what they want it to mean. All these things come to come to come to my point that religion that that Jehovah's Witness is a cult of Christianity, not actual Christianity, and that they shouldn't be believed. They teach hate, and they think everybody hates them. They they contradict everything the Bible has to say about doctrine. They believe in multiple gods. Um, and they believe that they are their own. They are the, the 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 greatest authority, not God, not the Bible, but them. They are the Word of God. Um, they 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 believe that you have to be part of, of them and part of their collective to be saved. Um, they have a history of long history of failed prophecy. They have a very untrustworthy Bible translation. They can't even study. It. How does that not? How is that not cult? You can't study the truth. You can't study and question anything, anything, or you'll get kicked out. That's not. That's that's like Jonestown stuff right there. Um, anyways, and then uh, they don't even have God's name in an accurate way. I mean, I, I don't even know what to do with that. Why should I believe that some Latin variation of um, tra translation and, and retranslation um, would then equal God's actual name that we, we alone can call him by? See what I mean? Why get weird about that? So... I hope this kind of clears up. Uh, the Jehovah's Witness is, is not a trustworthy, um, not a trustworthy religion, and it's not biblical, and uh, it's not Christian. This is a, the the definition of a Christian cult. They claim to be Christian, but everything we're looking at says not Christian. Um, Jesus tells us to love people, even our enemies, especially our enemies. Um, Jesus gave us His word to teach us righteousness. Um, God said that there's only one God. God said that salvation was only through him. Uh, God said that his prophets do not tell lies. His prophets tell what he to tells them to tell. Um, the Bible it has to be an accurate translation or it's no longer a translation. Um, y you have to be able to study in order to validate a belief. That's the foundation of a belief. If you don't have reason for your belief, there, there's no reason of believing it. Evolution. People believe in evolution because they've taken things and, and, and looked at it and said, okay, evolution seems to seems to be what this implies. See you know what I mean? But that's not what they've done here. Um, and then and then God's name, why hold to some dogmatic belief about God's name being Jehovah when there is no biblical basis for it? Um, I hope that this brought clarity. Um, with all that being said, um, the Jehovah's Witness are, they're not the enemy. Satan is the enemy. And what's tragic about this is that God gave us his word to reconcile us to him. And the Jehovah's Witness have twisted, twisted it. And most people in the Jehovah's Witness don't understand what's going on. They actually think that they get this tunnel vision where they, where they genuinely think that, that, that they're right. And they're not even willing to question the idea, to entertain it at all, lest they be kicked out and lose their salvation. I mean, this is a big issue, and we need to be sensitive to that. So don't be ugly towards Jehovah's Witness. Don't hate and don't be hateful. Um, don't make fun of them. I mean, goodness sakes, don't spray them with hoses. I mean, all these different things that people do, that's not showing Christ's love. What did Jesus do with his enemies? See what I mean? So um, leave the uh, flogging to 